New developments in this shocking case involving the 2000 death, uh, 2007 rather, death of Anna Nicole Smith. California's attorney general says her lawyer turned boyfriend and two doctors conspired to give the Playboy playmate thousands of prescription pills before her fatal overdose. Howard K. Stern and Dr. Sadeep Kapoor, they have already surrendered to the authorities and a third doctor is expected to turn herself in Monday. This case all ties together in each of the acts that we assert uh, fit together uh, to form an abusive and illegal pattern that is unconscionable, unprofessional, and clearly illegal. Joining me live now from Washington, D.C. is Liz Kelly, celebritology blogger with The Washington Post. And another good morning to you, Liz. So if we get to the details here, Howard K. Stern and these two doctors charged with eight felonies each. Anna Nicole Smith died back in 2000, uh, almost a couple years ago to the day now. Why bring these charges now? Well, you know, according to the California State Attorney, Jerry Brown, uh, it's because it took this long to complete the investigation. Uh, you know, it's an investigation that spanned from California to the Bahamas, and, you know, I guess they're just saying, you know, this is, this is the process. This is how long an investigation takes. You know, another factor to keep in mind, and, uh, you know, I'm, certainly this isn't the motivator, but uh, Jerry Brown himself, uh, former California governor, is planning on making another run for the governor's office in 2010. And, uh, you know, while I'm sure that's not what's motivating him now, it's certainly can't hurt to have a high-profile case on his hands to get him a little press. Yeah, but look, these, these charges have seemingly come out of the blue. Do you have any inside details on what investigators have been doing the last couple of years? Uh, you know, apparently they've been poring over records, you know, trying to build this case. Uh, you know, uh, there were a lot of different prescriptions written in a lot of different names. It involves more than one doctor. It invo involves more than one jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so apparently, you know, it's just taken this long to get them this far in the case. However, you know, that said, while they've been charged with eight felony counts each, they have not charged any of them with manslaughter or murder. Uh, we don't know if those charges are yet to come. Okay. Has there been any reaction from Howard K. Stern's lawyer or attorneys for the two doctors? No, uh, we uh, actually haven't heard anything from them yet, which, you know, in the case of Howard K. Stern is actually pretty surprising. I'm sure everybody remembers him as a pretty public figure yeah. back from the Anna Nicole days and the days, you know, after her death. Um, it's probably a good thing, and I'm, I'm imagining his lawyer is keeping a tight muzzle on him at this point, but we also haven't heard anything from Anna Nicole's mother, Virgie Arthur, or from Larry Burkhead, who, um, as we all know, is the father of her baby, Danny mm -hmm. Lynn. There's lots of time there, Liz, and I'm sure you'll be following it. Liz Kelly there, celebritology blogger. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Thanks. Windshield wiper fluid is served to children at a daycare center. Mistake or malice? That's ahead for you on MSNBC Saturday.